Hi everyone, it's Carrie Johnson. I'm really happy to be with you today to share the Sunday School story. This week's story is God Calls Samuel. It is from the first book of Samuel and that is found in the Old Testament. So we know this story is very, very old. Let's get right to it. This story starts with Samuel, a 12-year-old boy who is sent by his mother to live in the temple with Eli, who is the priest. Now, a temple is another word for church, and a priest is another word for pastor, like Pastor Jason and Pastor Ashley. So Samuel is sent there to learn about God and to serve. And Eli is very happy to have Samuel there because Eli would love to teach him about God. And also, Eli is getting quite old and he's starting to lose his eyesight and he knows Samuel can be very, very helpful to him. So one night, Eli and Samuel are getting ready for bed and Eli goes off to his room and Samuel goes into the temple to sleep. And a little while after he's fallen asleep, Samuel hears a voice calling his name. Samuel, Samuel. Now Samuel wakes up and he thinks, oh, Eli must need me. And he rushes off to Eli's room and he said, I heard you calling, here I am. And Eli looks at him and says, Samuel, I did not call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel goes back to bed, and a little while later, he wakes up again, hearing a voice calling his name. Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel gets up, and he goes into Eli's room, and he said, I heard you calling. Here I am. And Eli looks at him and says, Samuel, I did not call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel again goes back to bed, and again, a third time, he wakes up to hear a voice calling his name, Samuel, Samuel. And I'm sure by this time, Samuel must be thinking, what is going on? But he gets up and he goes into Eli's room and he says again, I heard you calling, here I am. And Eli, who also must be thinking what's going on, begins to realize what must be going on. Do you think you know what's going on? Eli looks at Samuel and he says, Samuel, I think God is calling you. And if this happens again, I want you to stand up and say, I heard you calling God, here I am. What do you want me to do? So Samuel goes back to bed and sure enough, he wakes up to hear the voice. Samuel, Samuel, and Samuel does just as Eli says. He stands up and he says, I heard you calling God, here I am. What do you want me to do? Now, I think this is amazing and I just love this story. And I'm gonna tell you why. We learn from this story that God knows and you know too that all of us can serve God. And in this story, God calls Samuel. He calls Samuel, who is a 12-year-old boy. We know now that God certainly believes that even kids can serve God. And I know that you know how to be helpers, and you know how to be caring, and you know how to be kind. And that's how we spread God's love. And we do this again by being caring and kind and helping. But more importantly, this story tells us that God knows this too. And it makes God so happy when we show love to each other and kindness and caring. And when we do that, it's like saying, I hear you, God, here I am. And, and nothing makes God happier than that. So when you go about your week, I want you to try to be mindful about how you can spread God's love and how you can be helpful, caring, and kind to the people you know and to the people you might not know, because that's important too. So when we serve God, 
We are sharing his love and we are being helpful, caring, and kind. And that's a wonderful message for today's story. So let's say a prayer to close our time. And I will start and then I will lead you in. Dear God, dear God, thank you for the story of Samuel. Thank you for the story of Samuel. Thank you for reminding us that all of us can spread your love. Thank you for reminding us that all of us can spread your love and be helpful and caring and kind. And be helpful and caring and kind. Amen. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of your time this morning to be with me, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.